for since 2000. Commander here in the Motor City. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Detroit Tigers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to go. And going to the lab here, Tarek Skubal. How about a report on him, Chris? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many he has good feel for on that given day. But he's right. He's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the Pretty same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. All right, ready to go here. Yeah, the batter now, Yandy Diaz. Hey. On the corner for a strike. And away in Detroit. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Battling here as he fouls it away. Comes up empty as he chases that one. One away on the strikeout. That classic pitch sequencing there to change eye level for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. Now it's Brandon Lau. Check Eight. swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Oh, one's the count. Is empty. Into the pitch. One that ball. one not close. And yeah, that's ball one. And nope. another ball. Two two now. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. High fly. The left center Canna under it, and there's two down. All right, let's take a look at the Rays lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back, and for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, but maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Two out spaces empty. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. The top coming up, no score. You're dialed into the show. Back at Comerica Park, today's starting pitcher, Zach Eflin. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance. And it's it's one of the things you're looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Over to Diaz. Awesome play there. Take a look at the lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in. At their back, and for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting the line drives. You know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. 
team who just hit the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. And now the count is even. There's the strike. Nothing but curveball so far in the at-bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. One down, base is empty. Not <laughs> close with that one. Two and two. In the air, right field. Their shot to right, and they walk it off. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, the most pressure-packed scenario, and what you do, you come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment. Nice swing of the bat. Nice win for the team. one nothing the final. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Here now is our final line for this afternoon.